Hi guys, it's Wenabel here, and I am here with my grandfather. Hi, uh, nice to be here, thanks for inviting me. Yeah, no problem. And uh, we enjoy doing jigsaw puzzles, and if you've done it before, you might have preserved them with types of puzzle glue. But we have been dissatisfied with these in the past for actually ruining our puzzles. And so instead we're going to show you a very easy way to preserve them that doesn't involve these expensive, these overpriced and not very efficient applicators. So what we're going to start with, you're just going to need normal school's glue. Uh, we're using uh, Elmer's brand, just the standard. And you're going to take your puzzle, put it front side up on the table, and grandpa will take it over. Okay, I'm just going to remove the cap <laughs> and pour out some of the glue, very little. You don't want to overdo it. Yeah, and we're only going to be doing a small part of the puzzle because uh, uh, just for time's sake and demonstration's sake. Okay, so that's plenty. There's plenty of glue for that little area. And then we take a brush. A dry brush. And yeah. just spread it evenly. It's that paintbrush. Uh, glue can be a little bit tacky. Uh, the Elmer's glue that we're using is actually the exact same stuff that's in these. This may just be a little bit watered down so that you can applicate it more easily. But so, as you can see, he's just painting it on evenly and it's uh, creating this exact same effect that using either one of these applicators would. So when you're done, you can just uh, dry your, uh, rinse your paints in, uh, this little, in a little piece of water. And uh, after you do the entire puzzle, of course, make sure you get the edges. And we'll come back in a second and show you the next step. All right, so now that we have finished gluing the front of the puzzle and it's dried, it took about two or three hours, maybe an hour, it's really hot. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to glue it onto this thin cardboard backing. So this is uh, sold as poster board. It's not the foam core, but it's just like a kind of thick cardboard paper. So what we're going to do, we're going to take our glue puzzle, which is kind of rigid, but really not strong enough to withhold much uh, abuse of storage. You couldn't frame it like this. What we're going to do, we're gonna, just going to take a permanent marker and trace it onto this paper, like so. And now we can take this off. You can see some of the pieces are coming off a little bit. Um, and we're going to do pretty much the same thing that we did before. So Grandpa, he's got a uh, bottle of glue, same bottle of glue. And what are you going to do, Grandpa? I'm going to pour it and go around in sort of circles mm -hmm. and do it lightly, spread it with my brush, and then put the puzzle on it. Okay. So... You know, you can do this pretty quickly. It's a lot faster than using either of these. Uh, so, you can see, there's glue. That's pretty good. And so now, we're just going to use the same paintbrush uh, that we uh, like kind of rinsed off a little bit. Same paintbrush. And we're just going to uh, uh, spread the glue all around the inside of the puzzle board. Just like that. Alright, so now that we've applied the glue to the uh, backing, we spread it evenly, especially getting the edges. Uh, all we have to do is take our puzzle, which is already glued on the front, and just very carefully center it onto the board. We've got this corner. We're making sure that we smooth it down and press it down. And then we'll take a... Uh, Now we'll take a thicker poster board, put it on top, and we'll put some kind of weight on there. And then when it's once it's dried, we'll trim it off. But we don't have it. We don't have time on video, obviously, to let it dry. So instead, here's a finished uh, finished puzzle that we did. Uh, as you can see, it's very strong. It's not in danger of breaking, and we didn't trim off the extra, but you definitely could if you want to. So there you go. It's a very easy and cheap way to preserve puzzles, uh, and I really recommend it because it takes a lot less time, and it's just a lot better. So thanks guys so much for watching. I'm going to try and put out more videos, so subscribe and like.